Hey y'all, JS Creations are Sanity here. So today I'm going to be making some pins. And these are the glitters I'm going to use. It's going to be like a St. Patrick's Day theme. So like I said, these are the glitters I'm going to use, but we'll get to that a little later. First we have to get our pins ready. So today I'm going to be doing six. Um, these are the pins that I'm using. And first we need to take them apart. So you're just going to unscrew the bottom, pull out your ink, and then I use just the, the, the ink thing to push out the top, the button. Okay, all of my innards I store in this little baggie so that I don't lose anything. And then you want to take off the clip. So to do that, I have these little um, flesh cutters and I just use them to cut this off. Oh, there it goes flying. So I just cut that off of there and then there's like a little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little nubby thing right there. And I just use these to kind of trim off the tip of it. So I'll do the same thing here with this. Okay, now I'm just going to use a sanding block to rough these up. And I'll make sure that little nubby thing there, I'll make sure to sand the rest of that down to kind of get it flush with the rest of my pen. Now, you don't have to do, like I'm using the Papermate um, gel pens. You don't have to use those. You can really use any pen that you can take apart will work. So I'm just going to get the rest of these sanded down. For those of you out there that want to start cups, because this is almost like, um, you know, the same preparation for starting tumblers. So those of you that want to try tumblers but are kind of, you know, on the fence or intimidated by them, this would be a great project to start with. You know, I'm one of those that I'm just going to jump in and do it. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at least I can say that I tried, right? So I'm getting my last one ready here. Okay, let me get this cleaned up. Okay, I've got these alcohol pads here that I'm going to use to wipe down my pins. Get all that dust and stuff off from sanding.
so now um, to get them ready to put on my turner here and my turner here um, this one here I got off of Amazon they no longer make this one there's um, they actually like upgraded it um, so I will have that along with all of my supplies that I'm using listed in the description below but here, let me get this one so my turner comes with these honeycomb um, inserts for the cup and all I did was put several rubber rubber bands around here and what I'm gonna do you'll see here in a minute is I'm just going to um, put my pins on my rods and slip them underneath these rubber bands and it will hold my pin while it's turning to cure so what I'm using I have this big old this dowel rod um, that was actually kind of perfect for these pins and all I did was measure because it comes in a long um, like stick so all I did was measure out and cut them down to size so now as you can see I've used these and my pins stuck like epoxy got down here on the dowel rod and some of my pins stuck um, now I caught that in time to get them off except for one I did ruin but anyway so now I'm going to I'm going to use some Vaseline and I'm actually going to use the other end of my dowel rods and I'm going to rub some Vaseline on the rod on the rod before putting my pin on to see if that helps from um, like if epoxy gets on my rod if um, hopefully it doesn't stick with the with the Vaseline on um, so yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit all the way around here I don't think you need very much take my pin and you want the um, what the, the pin the pin side so this this would be your bottom where you write from and this would be your top your clicker so you want the part where you write from on the dowel rod just like that And then I'm going to stick it under my rubber bands here. Just like so. And I will continue getting the rest of these ready to go. Okay, I've got my, all my pins ready here. Now some of them I'm going to do a base coat on. So all I will do is um, I'm going to take them outside and I'm going to hold the end of my dowel rod, spray whatever color, like some of these, um, I think a couple I'm going to do white, a couple green, and then I think gold. Um, it's whatever I have out there so yeah so I'm just gonna spray it like this put it back in here um, my my rod here for my turner actually I have a jar that I'm going to slip it in to take it outside and this will hold my pins perfectly while the paint dries 
So I'm gonna do that and then we'll be back. So I have my pins all painted. Um, now you don't have to do a base coat on these if you don't want to. But as you can see here, I did two white, I did two a dark green, one gold, and then I went ahead and did one black. Even though these pins are black, there's still that part of um, the one side that's clear. So I went ahead and just painted that one pin black. So now I am have my resin all mixed up, using my finger just to smooth that um, on my pins in a thin coat. This first one here is a chunky glitter. Now, um, as you saw, I have one piece of paper under there when I put my epoxy on, just in case I have any drips. And then I use another piece of paper to actually pour my glitter onto my pin. And then I pour that glitter back into my bottle so I don't waste anything. Now for the chunkier glitter, um, I use my gloved finger to, after I have it on there, I go back and I kind of gently um, push the glitter down on there because the chunkier glitters tend to stand up. So I push, um, as you can see here, um, I'm lightly pushing that glitter down to help it lay flat. And I do that for all of my um, chunkies here. The ultra fine glitters, um, you don't need to do that. They, it automatically just lays flat. flat. So I'm just gonna continue um, smoothing on my uh, resin here, um, sprinkling my glitters. Again, when I'm done with the glitter, so see this one here, I did two pins in this color. Um, so I waited to put my glitter back in the bottle, making sure that I change my paper in between. So this is my epoxy paper. I'm getting ready to do another pin here. So this pin here, I'm going to do an ombre. Um, now, I advise to have your glitters open, ready to go before you start the epoxy. That's what I was doing there to start with. Um, so this one, I'm going to do an ombre. I'm going to do a green on the bottom. It's kind of a green shift to gold, and it is a chunky, so I'll put that on, go back, kind of smush it down with my finger. And then for the top here, I'm going to come in with an, it's an ultra fine um, gold glitter. It's a really, really bright gold. So I put that on the top, and then I kind of um, angle my pen and hold my glitter up higher and sprinkle that in the middle of the two so it kind of blends it together. So for my white, my two white ones here, I'm gonna do those the same. I have this mix here of a white and a green glitter. They're both ultra fine, but that white is a matte finish, which means it really doesn't sparkle. So I just put, I just eyeballed it, poured some of the white in that cup and just did a little bit of green because I just wanted a hint. So again, smoothing my epoxy on here, um, changing my paper there and just sprinkling that glitter on. Now, again, with these white ones, I am going to add some holographic um, clovers to these. And I'm using this uh, jewel picker. It's got um, that silicone side to it and that's what I'm using to pick up these little um, shaped glitters and just sticking those on there. And I'm gonna do the white pen the exact same way. So here they all finished with the glitters. Um, I will cover them and leave them spin to cure. So the next day, this is the um, my second uh, coat of resin here. And I'm just covering up the glitter. That's all I'm doing right now. 
So I've mixed up um, 20 mils of resin, and that is more than enough to do these six pins. Um, I had enough left over to do a bookmark. So that kind of gives you an idea about how much resin you'll need. Um, it does take just a little bit more on the chunky glitters uh, to cover that. But yeah, so once I get um, my layer of um, resin on here, I will let these spin to cure. And then we'll be back to do our third layer here. And again, putting the resin on here, now I'm not too worried. You don't want to get it on the stick or in the um, clicker part of your pen. Um, so you wanna be careful, but um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm hoping that Vaseline will, you know, stop anything from sticking. And then at the top of the pen, um, again, you wanna try not to get anything in the hole, but I will show you how to clean that out if you do. So once I get um, a clear layer on all of these pins, I will cover them up, leave them spin to cure, and then we'll be back. So I just use my tub there, and this is the same tub that I use um, to cover my cups too. It's just um, a big plastic tub, and I leave it sitting on top of my spinner so there's still like, you know, air for um, things to breathe underneath there. So now, um, once my second layer of resin was dry, now I'm coming in here and sanding um, that layer down. This, you really don't have to do this on um, fine glitters. It's more for the chunky glitters because those are hard to lay flat. Um, and as you can see, these, the three pins that I used all the chunky on, I do have some fish eyes where the resin did not cover that glitter. So you just want to sand it down, um, get it all smooth so you don't have any glitter sticking up. Um, once I have that done, now I'm just cleaning them off with some alcohol. I've got alcohol on that paper towel there. Just wiping those down, sticking them back in my turner. And then I will get, while those are drying, I will get um, my last coat of resin mixed up and then put that on. So here we go, this is the last and final coat. So I'm just going to, again, just put um, a thin layer on using my finger, making sure I've got good coverage, putting it back on my turner there. I will cover it, leave it spinning till it's cured, and then the next day we will take them off of the dowel rods. Now, if you were going to put a decal on these, um, this would have been the time to do it. After you sanded and then cleaned it with the alcohol, you could put your vinyl decal on there before applying your last layer of epoxy. So now these are all done. I'm taking them off the dowel rods. As you can see, I, the Vaseline worked. It, it pulled right off of there, nice and smooth. Um, now the resin that did get on the dowel rod, of course, came off with the pin, and I'm just using my knife and cutting that off. I'm just using the 
um, the edge of the pen as a marker and just cutting the extra resin off. And now I'm using this um, emery board here just to file down the ends. Um, if there's any bits sticking out on this one, I did have a little bitty piece up there at the top that I just sanded with that um, emery board. And as you saw, I used my knife there and just scraped out, cleaned out the inside of my pen where the clicker goes. And then put my pen together. So you want to put the um, clicker in first, then your ink, and then put on your bottom. And you want to make sure that it clicks, that it works. Um, you will see here on one of them that it did not work. So I had to take it back apart and clean out the top of it again. So I just took it apart and used my knife again to scrape out the top where the clicker goes. No big deal. I think it was this one here actually. You could even, I mean, if this bit down here is um, tougher than what you can cut through it, you could use your heat gun to heat that up a little bit and it would make it easier. So I think it was this one here. You'll see me, um, I put it together, try to click it and it doesn't click, it gets stuck. So I just took it apart and got my knife and cleaned out again um, the top of it where the clicker goes. Put it back together and now we work. So I will continue doing this, putting the other two together here. And then here they are all together. They all work. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya.